Everybody else hides from weather like this. This is my kind of weather. Treacherous, dangerous. You don't know what the hell's gonna happen. I like it. Yep. Here comes the snow and hail. All right. What is going on, y'all? Got a quick video for you. We have a winter storm coming. As you can see, the flurry's starting to uh, fall. I got y'all down on the bed of the truck, so hopefully that blocks the wind a little bit. I wanted to talk real quick about a not so secret, but not very known trick that a lot of us grunts would use to stay warm in the field while also keeping our loadout light. Grunts. Anybody doing combat patrols out there trying to kick some ass. We're usually carrying 30 to 60 pounds of combat gear. So that includes your IBA or plate carrier, all your water and ammo, that's a big thing, grenades, optics and all that stuff. And then you're gonna add on at least 40 pounds and an assault bag, at least. We don't really have the luxury to pack all this extra cold weather gear. We affectionately call it snivel gear. There's a way to improve how warm you are in the field without actually boosting up your pack weight at least as it comes to the sleep system. So you see I'm wearing the ECWCS level seven jacket, what we usually call the marshmallow jacket. This comes with it. These are the bottoms to it, if I can get them out. Now, what does this have to do with sleeping? Okay, you have to consider in the combat world, when you go out into the field or in actual combat operations, your sleep is not really sleep. You only get to rest a little bit. It's usually in a patrol base or an actual listening post or observation post out in the field. You are not bedding down for the entire night and you are most likely just sleeping in an actual position. Hopefully you got a mat under you if you can bring one, but you're not curling up in your bunny slippers, dropping down to your underwear. That's one reason the MSS is designed for you to be wearing clothes inside of it. So, what a lot of grunts did, and I learned this the painful way, once we got issued this stuff, once it got cold, especially down to freezing and below, we would carry this with us. Think about it, if I'm out here in weather like this, and I'm setting up in an OP or just a patrol base, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to set up a tent. As a matter of fact, most grunts don't even bring tents with us. We'll have a poncho and a ridge line. That's the most you're probably gonna get. And that's even pushing it. Considering all that, and considering that you might not even be able to hop into a sleeping bag, if you can even bring a sleeping bag, you will need something like this in freezing temperatures and very cold temperatures. You're just going to have to have the clothing on you instead of the sleep system. So what I would do, even as a Mississippi guy, I would still just bring my jungle bag, which is good down to 30 degrees. The newer one is rated at 32 degrees, right at freezing. You're gonna be cold in that, just in your like pajamas or something. But considering a grunt is out here in the field operating and moving around and you're exposed all day long, you're typically wearing three to four layers as it is. So you have to bring those three to four layers to the field or downrange with you. Why not include those three to four layers in your sleep system? Leave the giant MSS at home and just bring the jungle bag with you. And now you have a multitude of cold weather gear that is also going to boost your sleep system. So sleeping in the jungle bag with the bivy and all this stuff on, it's not going to save you down to like the teens or below zero, but it's going to at least keep you alive. And if you think about how with all the ammo and food and water and all the mission essential items we're bringing with us, it helps to be able to drop things like the MSS or a big bulky sleep system because we will be wearing stuff like this anyway. Okay, so limit your sleep system. You always got this stuff with you anyway, and there you go. Well, there you go, guys. This is the perfect weather for me to get to set some massive fires. I got some big old burn piles I'm gonna get rid of. Thank you for joining me. I hope you learned something. Until the next video, I will see you guys in the outdoors. Let's get to some storm work.